Hello everyone, my name is Florenda Cartisiano. Uh, today we are going to talk about Polya's problem solving techniques. Who is Polya or George Polya? Uh, he, was, he was a Hungarian mathematician who emigrated to the United States in 1940. His major contribution is for his work in problem solving which was in the book How to Solve It. In this book, he identifies the four basic principles of problem solving. There are four basic principles of problem solving by Polya. So, the four basic principles of problem solving, the first one is to ident understand a problem. Second is devise a plan. Third one is carry out the plan. And last is to look back. Uh, in understanding a problem, so it means to identify what is asked or restate the problem on your own words. Second, in devising a plan, uh, it is choosing an appropriate strategy which is best to solve the problem. And carrying out the plan, it is the follow-through of the previous principle which usually is solving. Looking back, wherein you check if your plan really worked. So let's let's try it out Ricky sold two packs of chocolates and 80 packs of candies yesterday and earned 900 pesos today he sold 90 packs of candies and three packs of chocolates and earned 1050 pesos how much is the cost of each item first we're going to understand the problem so Yesterday, two packs of chocolates, 80 packs of candies, and worth 900 pesos. Today, three packs of chocolates, 90 packs of candies, worth 1,050 pesos. Devise a plan. Let X be the packs of the chocolates. Let Y be the packs of the candies. So, 2X plus 80Y equals 900. Yesterday and today, 3x plus 90y equals 1050. Here we have two equations with the same variables, which means we can solve this using the system of the linear equation in two variables. So, carrying out the plan. So, the equation 1, 2x plus 80y equals 900. Equation 2, 3x plus 90y equals 1050. So, we are going to find a number in order for us to eliminate the value of x or the value of y. So, since the value of x is smaller than the value of y, so we can easily get a number that rep that will go to eliminate the value of x. So, the value of, uh, in equation 1, we are going to multiply it by negative 3 and the equation 2 is the positive 2. So, negative 3 times 2x plus 80y equals 900. So, negative two, 3 times 2x equals negative 6x. Uh, negative 3 plus 80y equals negative 40y equals negative 3 times 900 equals negative 2700. Equation 2. So, our we're going to use the positive 2. So, pass, uh, 2 times 3x equals 6x plus 2 times 90y equals 180y equals 2100. So, now we can eliminate the x. So, negative 6x plus 6x equals 0. Negative, negative 240y plus 180y equals negative 60y. Negative 2,700 plus 2,100 equals negative 600. In order for us to get the value of y, we are going to multiply it with negative 1 over 60. So, 1 over 60. So, 1 over 60. Negative 1 over 60 times negative 60y equals y. Then, negative 600 divided by uh, times negative over once 1 over 60 negative 600 times negative 1 over 60 equals 10 so we have the value of y 
Since we have the value of y, we can substitute any of the equations. So, we are going to use equation 1 in order for us to get the value of x. So, 2x plus 80y equals 900. Then, 2x plus 80, then the value of y is 10 equals 900. Then, 2x plus 800 equals 900. 2x equals 900 minus 800. So, 2x equals 100. So, we are going to multiply it by 1 half in order for us to get the value of x. So, 1 half x times 2x equals x. 100 times 1 half equals 50. X represent the cost of the chocolates and Y represent the cost of the can of candies. So, chocolate cost 50 pesos per pack and candies cost 10 pesos per pack. So, look back or we're going to check our solution. If our value of X and Y is correct. So, 2X, so we're going to use the equation 1. 2X plus 80Y equals 900. Then, we're going to substitute the value of X and Y. So, 2 times 50 plus 80 times 10 equals 900. Then, one, uh, 2 times 50 equals 100 plus 80 times 10 equals 800 equals 900. So, 900 equals 900. Therefore, the values of X and Y are correct. Next, next example. One number is 6 times the other number. Their sum is 35. What are the numbers? First, we're going to understand the problem. Number. What are the numbers? So, we know that 6 times the other number is 35. So, second is we're going to devise a plan. So, let x be the number. Let 6x be the other number. Then, 6x plus x equals 35. So, we're going to carry out the plan. 6x plus x equals 35. Combine like terms, 7x equals 35. So, in order for us to get the, the value of x, we're going to multiply it by 1 over 7. So, 1 over 7 times 7x equals x. Then, 35 times 1 over 7 equals 5 if x equals 5 then 6x equals 30 look back or we're going to check our solution if correct 6x plus x equals 35 so we're going to substitute the value of x 6 times 5 plus 5 equals 35 so 35 equals to 35 so our solution is correct one number is 6 times the other number. Their sum is 35. What are the numbers? So, the numbers are 5 and 30. Their sum is 35. Thank you for listening. I hope you have taken something from this video.